not see human beings in front of you. Do not believe their uh, sorrow, do not believe their smiles, do not believe their feelings. They are sub-human. But they look just like you. I mean, there's so many Arab Jews. It's incredible. Yeah. Like yourself. <laughs> yeah, and I think that the, the Arab Jews in Israel are probably the most tragic story in the entire story of Zionism after the Palestinians. Uh, you know, and it's not being talked enough, obviously, inside the Israeli society or in the world. The Mizrahi Jew, the Arab Jews that came uh, around the years of 50 and onward into Israel, uh, some came by choice, came by, some came by force, but they didn't came to a country that was theirs came only about two years after Israel was already gave out much, most of the land into the European people. And they understood that they cannot hold the territory alone. They need more people on the ground to fight off Palestinians or Palestinian refugees if they will come back. And then they went off and brought most of the Arab Jews and put them in the most terrible places in Israel, on the borders, on the borders with Egypt or Jordan or uh, Lebanon and Syria. We put them at buffer zones to protect us from Palestinians. Some of them came in the civils. Uh, the Zionist organization sends delegations into these Arab countries uh, and called the Jews there to come into Israel, the Jewish homeland. Many of them didn't want to. Many of them, like in Iraq or Egypt, had a good life or in Morocco and wanted to stay. They didn't know what will be the destiny of this new country that I understood that there's very much likely that a lot of wars will go on there. They felt protected in those countries and they said no. And the Zionist organization sent another delegations into some of these countries of people this kind as Arabs from those countries they terrorized those people to try to force them to come into Israel. They were born synagogues. We have testimonies today that talks about how they ran after people in the street and beat them down as so-called Arabs from Morocco, from uh, Egypt or Iraq, trying to scare them. And immediately after that, more people from the Zionist movement would come and say, you see, the only safe place you have is Israel. You have to come now. And after they came, they were being sent into the most uh, uh, disgusting forms of uh, settlement for the newcomers from those Arab countries, being sprayed from DDT uh, with, uh, with uh, gas, trying to clean them up before they joining into the uh, Ashkenazi, the European kids, to play with them. They were separated and segregated for years that was not their country and it's still not their country. And what they had to do to start to assimilate themselves inside this new country was to make sure that everybody understood that they're actually not Arabs. They look like Arabs, they talk Arabic, but they're not Arabs, they're Jewish. Because you can be an American Jew and you can be a European Jew, but you cannot be an Arab Jew in Israel. And they erase their identity and they starting to form what we know today as the most extreme right in Israel. They are the extreme right because they have to solidify themselves as the most loyal citizens of the states. You hear